Oh, baby. What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. Hey, so I'm back with another one. Um, yeah, it's, it's good to see you guys, too. I know uh, the winter has been very inconsistent. But anybody who deals with cars knows the winter is like the off period for, for cars. So if you got a car channel, it's kind of stuff you can expect. But anyway, you're not here for that. All right, so if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Trey. Welcome. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is my 1994 Honda Prelude. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how to remove your uh basically your entire dash not the entire dash but where the instrument clusters and all that stuff is i'm gonna be showing you how to remove um that so if this would be uh helpful if you want to like basically replace your speedometer or replace your temperature gauge for those of you who don't know how to do it this is how you do it all right so before i get too deep in the video for those of you who already know how to do this Stay tuned. I got a surprise for everybody today. Just stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? So, step one. Oh, <laughs> I had a screwdriver in my pocket. Oh, all right. So anyway, step one, get in your prelude. <laughs> it's like, nah, step two slash step one. Um, You'll notice that in the, uh, let me turn the camera around. In the fourth gen, you actually have these tweeter covers. Now, I actually have um, gauges in my tweeter covers, but it's not going to stop me from doing it. So, first step is you want to remove these. Um, if they've never been removed before, you may or may not need a flathead, but they're just held in by clips. So, once you get your hand behind it or screwdriver behind it, these pretty much kind of just pop out. They're pretty. It's pretty simple. Mine have some wire in this, like I said, because I got the gauges. But step one is you just pop those out. <clears throat> Alright, so um, once you get the Twitter covers out, you're really only going to need like two or three tools. Mainly two screwdrivers, one of the short ones, a uh, regular one, and then you may or may not need a flathead. Um, but we'll see as we go. I've done it before, but it's been, a, it's been such a while that I've done it. I couldn't tell you exactly. I, I'm pretty sure it's just the screwdrivers that you need. The flathead would only be to like kind of maybe like pry something out the way. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna have. Um, let me turn the camera. You're gonna have uh, screws going up, and there's seven of them. You're gonna want to get all of those screws out, and having this this one, this uh, short screwdriver is gonna help with that. So once you get those seven screws out that are along there, this piece kind of just kind of drops down and uh, you just want to pull this piece out. So you can kind of see where the light is shining through those holes. That's where the seven screws go. See that? Pretty simple. Uh, you want to get that out the way. Um, next, uh, make sure you don't lose the screws. First of all, keep those. I usually put my screws in a Ziploc bag or something like that. Or whatever as long as you don't as long as you don't lose them uh, from there there's actually like a weather stripping thing that runs all the way across it's like a piece of molding um, that you want to pull off just start at start at one end one or the other and uh, you should be able to pull this right out if you've never taken it off before it may be on there pretty good so just take your time. Oh, it looks like mine has some uh, like some three M tape on there holding it on too. So might need to reapply some more of that to get it to stay stay on like it was. There we go. That piece of molding comes off. Yeah. So there was like kind of like three M tape along the edge. It may be a good idea when you reinstall it to clean that off and put some more back on there. Alright, so once you get that top piece off, like I said, those seven screws, 
Um, there's going to be some screws that you're going to need to get out. Um, we'll start with the one on the driver's side. Right here. There's going to be one right there where that white tab is. And granted, I already took these screws out. Um, there's going to be one right here. There's going to be one right here. And then there's going to be two on this side. So let me see if I can get this thing to focus. Yep. Right there where that white tab is, my finger's kind of blocking it. That white tab. And then there's another one holding this glass in on that side. Once you do that, take your flathead. And if it's not already loose, pretty much going to kind of stick the uh, flathead underneath and pry up. And then once you do that, this glass comes right out. Now don't pull it all the way out because there's still a wire connected to it. It goes to the clock. So you're going to want to disconnect. Let me see if I can get a good view of it. You're going to want to disconnect the wire going to the clock. So disconnect that wire. All right, so once you get that glass piece off, now you have access to all the screws that are holding the clusters in. So on if you're trying to replace your temperature cluster, which these things do go out from time to time, so if this is what you're watching this video for, it's four screws from that from here on out. There's one here, one here, and then one here, and one here. And the plugs for the harnesses that are connected to the um, cluster on top, and you'll have better access to those once you take it out and you can kind of maneuver it. If you're changing out your um, cluster, there is two screws on this side, one here, one there, and then this one you've already taken out by now, that white one. And once you take those out, it comes right out. All right, so now for those of you who are looking to replace the temperature cluster or the speedometer, that is pretty much the steps you need to take to get to remove them. Um, obviously, uh, once you've replaced the clusters, it's just reverse engineering. You just pretty much literally reverse everything you just did. With that being said, on to the good stuff. Hey, so I got a little surprise for you guys, man. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because your boy got something got something real unique it's been done before but I've always always wanted to do this mod so it's been it, it's it's a, it's not a hard mod to do but it can get it can get expensive it can definitely get expensive um but that being said I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep uh I'm not gonna keep delaying you know Got reaching my bag of goodies. I'm not gonna keep delaying what I'm doing. If you you probably figured it out by now, but uh, your boy's putting the S2K cluster in that joint. You know what I'm saying? So I've been wanting to do this mod for years, bro. Even on my uh, for those of you who who've known me since I've had my purple one, I've wanted to do this mod for the longest. So uh. I want to shout out uh, my boy William Allen. Um, he, I'm gonna shout out William Allen and Hector Prelude. Uh, for those of you who are in the Prelude community, you know who these two guys are. William has a sick build. He's down in Florida. Um, I mean, he's going all out and then some on his. Hector, he's been around for a long time. He actually makes the uh, plug and play conversion harness for these, um, and. Uh, he made one for William. William is uh, upgrading to, um, it's like a Hall Tech, it's like a full race car type setup, so he didn't need the S2K conversion harness anymore. So um, I bought it from him. So shout out to William and Hector, a little backstory on that. So basically, um, I'm literally today, I'm waiting, the, the, the harness is supposed to come in the mail today. So hopefully I can finish this video today. If not, I'd already got the cluster, Harness is on the way, and all I have to do is get like a little face plate made for this um, to make it look nice once it sits in there. Um, and then I got another surprise with this too. 
that probably won't come for a while because they're out of stock but i do those of you who have seen the s2k cluster before um it does glow in like an orangish reddish hue um but i do have plans on changing that to the stock prelude green colors all right so um like i said there's four screws holding once you get that piece off there's four screws holding the speedometer in and four screws holding in the temperature gauge there's one two three and then four um from there i do have the eo cluster um which is going to be for sale i'll tell you why in a little bit um but uh it does have one two three harnesses um that you have to disconnect there's a few more connected to the eo the eo cluster box um you can either disconnect those from the box itself or you can disconnect them from the harness um from the uh, actual cluster my bad <clears throat> but that being said you know what I'm saying Oh shit. What is this? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this is a cluster out of a S2000. They call it the AP1 cluster. So from the early years of the S2000, this was the cluster that was or that is in it. And um people have done this conversion in the past. Um I've seen it a few times. You like you see it a lot in Civics and Prelude's not so often. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, Hector Prelude makes the conversion harness for this. He was probably one of the first people I personally saw with it. Um, my boy uh, Troy Wilson has one in his fifth gen. He did his own conversion um, three or four years ago. And I've wanted it ever since I've seen Troy and, and Hector have it. So um, definitely going to be dope. Alright, so I got the cluster in. It's plugged up now I'm pretty much putting everything back together tucking it up so that uh, we can turn this joint on and see what it look like so I know the few of you that have been uh, uh, following me on Instagram have probably already seen little teasers of it but um yeah but yeah let me put this back together and then we'll see what it looks like all right so here we go I got everything put back together Moment of truth. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hold up. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, baby. joint is wet with a capital W Whew. man I've been I've been wanting to do this mod for so many years it feels good to like finally do it you know what I mean so um, I think the only key to the puzzle I think that's missing if I'm not mistaken is um, the harness so the uh, the harness does require some work um, you can do it two ways. You can you can wire everything yourself, or a lot of there's a lot of people out there that um, pretty much make the wiring harness plug and play. Which in my particular case, I did have a plug and play harness. Um, there was a few things I had to do. Um, I had to wire in for the fourth gen specifically. I had to wire in the fifth gen uh, tank signal to get the fuel to work. On the S2K cluster in the fourth gen, um, and I did have to adjust the fuel level, stuff like that. It's the stuff that you learn, you know, when you start looking into the KS2 dash converter. But for the most part, man, it was really, really simple. And shout out again to uh, William Allen, and I'll put his IG right here. Um, also, shout out to Hector Prelude. He was the one 
who originally made the harness. And I'm shouting out William because uh, Hector made the harness. He makes the harnesses, plug and play. He sold it to William. William no longer had use for it. He sold it to me, and now I have my dream harness. Well, not my dream harness. Now I have my dream cluster in the Prelude. I think this house should have been from the start, in my honest opinion. But uh, I do want to do a few more things. Um, I do want to keep the original OEM uh, temperature and gas gauge. It's not working right now, but I do plan on um, getting that working as well because that is pretty much the whole reason why I love the Prelude is the dash. So, but yeah, with that being said, I'm not going to talk y'all head off no more. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. Uh, if you thought it was dope, like it. If you thought it was real dope, share it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you see this right here? That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.